So good, uh, welcome to this presentation to do with um, KM Colleges and Student Life for Postgraduate Students. My name is James Warren and I'm the Admissions Tutor for Postgraduate Students for Corpus Christi College, um, specifically for students in subjects in the arts, humanities and social sciences. So this presentation shouldn't take too long. It involves both some information about the general procedure for applications and general um, truths about postgraduate life in a collegiate university. But also then I'm going to say something more specific about Corpus Christi College and the postgraduate student life experience here. So first of all, I imagine um, this might be a little superfluous but the first question is why might you consider a postgraduate degree at Cambridge University? Well the short answer is it's a very good university and it's a very good university in most every aspect of what we do. Um, it's uh, for those who care about these things it performs well in various rankings against other uh, universities all the way across the world. We boast uh, incredible and expertise in a range and depth of academic fields. And particularly for the postgraduate students, um, it's a truly global community. Uh, at least 140 countries are representative um, amongst our postgraduate and undergraduate students. And um, the university takes uh, a very much a global outlook in terms of its recruitment, its um, staffing, and the way in which we see our role within the world generally. We also as a university have an excellent record uh, in terms of what our postgraduate students go on to do, whether they want to continue in further research or teaching posts or they move on to other kinds of employment or other kinds of uh, roles. Um, our um, postgraduates are extremely well educated and driven and so on and they tend to do extremely well. So as well as all those uh, academic um, uh, qualities, we also pride ourselves in the fact that as a collegiate university, the postgraduate students here have uh, live within a supportive environment that's supportive both academically in terms of your close association with your various supervisors and so on, but also in terms of you socially and your general well-being. And the colleges contribute a great deal to that second aspect of why being a postgraduate student at uh, Cambridge is a supportive and uh, rewarding and enjoyable experience. So I've already met, referred to Cambridge as a collegiate university. What that means is, as well as, as it were, the University of Cambridge, um, Cambridge is made up of a number of independent colleges, one of 30, 31 colleges in total. And as a student at the university, including postgraduate students, you will be a member of one of those colleges. Those colleges will tend to admit people studying a wide range of subjects. Um, so you have a nice combination of um, uh, your academic studies based in one of the faculties of departments, plus some other aspect of your life that will be covered by the collegiate experience where you will be mingling with scholars and students in a range of departments and faculties some like, but many very unlike your own. When it comes to postgraduate admissions, there is, as it were, a two-stage process. The various departments and faculties make the admissions decisions. So you apply to a department or a faculty and they will um, provide information about the kind of application they require, deadlines and so on. So departments and faculties make the decision um, whether or not to make someone an offer of admission to the university. Then um, you also will be admitted to one of the colleges. All postgraduate students, as I said, is what are, are members of one of the colleges and you have some degree of choice in your preferences for which college you would like to be a member of. What is a college? Well, the, the easiest uh, way to understand it is as a community. It's an academic community, but it's also a community of people who live as well as work together. So colleges are often going to be the places where you find um, your accommodation as a postgraduate student. 
and then you will live in the college or in one of the college's um, various um, uh, accommodation blocks or, or houses with other students from that college. But their colleges also, many, most of them also have undergraduate students as well as all of them have fellows and senior academics who are members of that college. And the idea is that, as it were, there's a kind of vertical community um, between students and uh, senior members and, of course, the staff of the, that college, which enhances your, uh, your experience as you're here working for your degree. So the way it puts it on this side is that colleges provide an opportunity for interaction and networking across subject boundaries. That's quite a dry way of putting it. But what it means is that you will um, live together with people who are just like you engaged in high level research, but they will be engaged in all sorts of different interesting and surprising kinds of subjects. And so as well as the, your daily work in a lab or in a library or wherever you are, you will also be exposed to people from all over the country and around the world working in a myriad of different kinds of um, areas and subjects. And that, I think, is an important part of a general kind of academic um, experience and also extremely rewarding. Colleges also provide various um, uh, means of pastoral support and guidance, and we'll come back to that in a moment. So of those 31 colleges, um, they differ in, in various ways. Some differ in terms of their age. For example, some of these colleges uh, were founded in the 14th century, um, while others were founded um, uh, 100 years ago or even less than 100 years ago. They vary in size, some are enormous and some are very small. Their location around the city differs and of course they differ in the kind of accommodation and whether they offer accommodation and other kinds of facilities that, that you, um, they might provide. Two colleges admit only postgraduate students, two colleges uh, admit only female students um, and uh, some colleges only admit students above a certain age. Corpus admits both undergraduates and postgraduates men and women and students um, from um, of all ages. All postgraduate students, as I said, become a member of a college. When you make your application, the application, as I said, goes to the department or faculty, but also on your application, you can express a preference for which college you would like to become a member of. You can uh, nominate up to two colleges in order of preference. Or you may choose not to nominate any college, in which case you make an open application. And if you're made an offer from your department or faculty, then the university will allocate you to a college who will then consider your application. If you have been made an offer of admission to the university, you will be accepted by a college. You won't necessarily be accepted by the college uh, if you've expressed a preference for it, but you will certainly be accepted by a college. Colleges, once again, and I think this is worth emphasising, have no role to play in the admissions decisions for courses. Although some colleges, if they're oversubscribed by people wishing to become a member, will make decisions about which people, which of those people who have been admitted by departments of faculties, they will um, admit to the college. One important factor that may affect your choice of college is of course the crucial question of funding. Now funding is um, a topic that's important to consider um, of course for all applicants and often um, colleges may be able to help in arranging funding packages for postgraduate students. There is a central database that will, enable you, will, able, will allow you to search which funding may be available according to your particular course your particular degree level and so on. And there's a link to that on the um, slide here, but it's very easy to find um, from the university website. Colleges also often uh, provide information about which uh, funding uh, they may or may not offer, which subjects they're able to offer funding to and so on, on their own websites. So while you're researching uh, which colleges you may or may not want to express a preference for, it's always good to keep an eye on that kind of information too. One thing to note is some college awards may require you to make a separate application. 
that is in addition to the application you make just for admission to the university if you wish to be um, considered for that award some colleges have a separate application procedure it's worth noting that corpus christi college doesn't so any um awards we offer we don't require you to make a separate application to the college just to be considered for that award one thing that the various colleges do offer is membership of a college um, student union so each college will have uh, an mcr the label may differ according to the college it's an mcr in corpus which stands for a middle combinational common room that's the college's student union as it were for postgraduate students and that will have a group of student officers elected um, that have various different roles and they are part of um, the way in which postgraduate students relate to the college they will sit on various college committees they will um, gather views from the college's postgraduate students and so on and college mcrs are affiliated to the central student union they also provide specific facilities and run social events for their members you can find a bit more about um, what the Corpus MCR does on our uh, college website and I'll describe some of that in more detail in a minute when I talk more specifically about Corpus rather than the general facts about uh, admission as a postgraduate student to the university. I think it should be clear already that as a student of course there's more to life than books you know and there's more to life than laboratories as well and so postgraduate students are more than encouraged to get involved in various university clubs and societies as you can imagine in a city like Cambridge and a city, uh, university of the size of Cambridge University there's more or less any uh, activity or um, club that you can dream of sport music drama at every level at college level at university level and so on and there's also uh, a thriving social um, scene uh, across the city as a whole um, and you can find out more about Cambridge as a city quite easily the idea is that as well as of course your dedication to your studies you'll be able to um, uh, uh, enjoy yourself uh, relax make uh, contacts across all sorts of different um, social uh, sporting and uh, performing kinds of contexts. So now let's turn to say something a bit more specific about Corpus Christi College. Corpus is a relatively small college uh, compared with the others in the university, but one interesting fact about Corpus is it has a relatively large proportion of students who are postgraduates. So if you see there, we have currently around about 280 undergraduates. That number fluctuates a little up and down. But we also have something like 210 postgraduate students, of whom quite a large number are uh, doctoral students. So there will be, of course, as well as the doctoral students, there'll be uh, a number of students who are here for one year courses, masters and various others. A lot of our postgraduates live uh, in Leckhampton. Now Leckhampton I think some of you may already have seen through our virtual tour, um, you can always revisit that tour on the website, but Leckhampton is a separate as it were campus, um, just a few minutes walk away from the main uh, medieval site of the college it's extremely green and leafy has a beautiful garden and it has a range of accommodation there and various other facilities and a large number of our postgraduates live in the Leckhampton accommodation. Leckhampton is as it were a kind of little college in its own right in many ways it has its own dining hall and bar tv music rooms library sports grounds gym it has a pool um, an outdoor pool so it can be quite cold for most of the year and as I said an extremely beautiful set of gardens. Leckhampton has its own rhythm of social life so it has um, formal dining on a Tuesday, it has uh, uh, meals that you can you can go to uh, on other days and it also hosts various talks and events um, by members of the college, outside speakers or other students. Now, of course, all of our students are welcome also at the central site um, of the college on Trumpington Street, where there is the main college hall, bar, library and so on. It's really important to remember that postgraduate students are, of course, members of the whole college and we like to consider them as such. 
Corpus, like many colleges, is able to offer a range of accommodation to um, most of our postgraduate students. For master's students, we tend to offer uh, accommodation for the duration of the course. And for PhD students, we can often offer accommodation for three years. And we do recognise that the duration of a PhD course is, is somewhat um, flexible, but three years is our usual offer. There's a range of accommodation, which some of you may have seen in the virtual tour. The relatively new co-building has rooms with ensuite facilities. The George Thompson building has beautiful large glass windows that look out over the um, college's gardens. And you'd be surprised for thinking you're only five, 10 minute walk from the center of the city. Actually, uh, when you're sitting there looking out over Leckhampton. We also have a number of large Victorian houses on Cranmer Road and Selwyn Gardens, which are the roads immediately around the site. So you can think of it as a kind of um, more or less circumscribed community with a range of different kinds of accommodation for our students there. If you wish to take another look at what kinds of accommodation are, are on offer, you can, of course, um, uh, whenever you wish, visit the virtual tour with these 360 degree uh, pictures that's available on the website. The postgraduate students at Leckhampton, and if any of them are living outside of college, of course, are more than welcome to use the Leckhampton facilities. And we like to think of Leckhampton as having its own distinctive community feel. It has its own sports teams, clubs and societies. You can see there the dining hall ready for people to eat. That looks like it might be a Christmas or some kind of celebratory dinner of some kind. But there are also talks and seminars that the postgraduate students organise. Um, talks by other postgraduate students so you, you can finally find out what that neighbour of yours does all day when they're off doing their research and the Stephen Hale Society which often has talks from fellows of the college or from outside speakers. So there's a whole range of um, activities centred around social events, dining and living together that will enhance your experience as uh, a postgraduate student. Now, I mentioned that um, colleges are often off able to offer funding of various kinds. Um, Corpus is no exception, but many uh, of our funding opportunities um, are in partnership with other um, bodies across the university. So for one year courses, we often partner up with the Cambridge Trust to offer part of the award for uh, master's students. For PhD students, we often partner up with the various uh, research institutions and councils. So we offer match funded awards with the AHRC, ESRC, BBSRC, EPSRC, and various other forms of Cambridge Trust. And also we can enter into ad hoc arrangements where possible with faculties and departments. In all cases, it's important to stress, no separate application is required. All you need to do is apply through the university's graduate funding competition by the funding deadline for your course and the funding deadline um, that applies to you. So, for example, if you're a student who wishes to be um, considered, for example, for the Gates funding, you must make sure that your application goes to your relevant faculty or department and hits their, um, their stated uh, deadline for people to be considered eligible for that kind of funding. Similarly with AHRC and the other uh, councils funding um, uh, deadlines. You can find all of that on the various um, websites for the individual faculties and, and departments. But importantly, that's all you need to do to be considered for any of the match funding that Corpus enters into with any of those um, uh, faculties. Um, there. 